Welcome to What of the World and you're still joining me on Safari, where the last time you saw us in Tarangire, which turned out to be Africa's number one elephant paradise. But of course we see many other animals too on our first safari drive. Good morning guys and it's time for day two of our African safari here in Tanzania. We slept in a little place called Karatu, a little town just close to the Ngoro Goro crater, which is a natural phenomenon. It has so many beautiful animals living inside the rims and among them the biggest concentration of predator animals in the entire world. Uh, they have lions, they have hyenas and we hope to see rhinos today. So let's go. In this authentic African village we have breakfast on the top floor with a fantastic view. In the middle of all the safari parks we also get a nice insight into the African daily life. From Karatu we drove for about 15 to 30 minutes and we enter the Ngoro Ngoro conservation area which is quite big and the crater itself in the middle is only about 14 kilometers in size but with that size it's the biggest crater in the world and all the animals that live inside have an animal kingdom ruled by the lion. We first make a stop at the crater rim, so everything you see below is the area that we're gonna drive through and see all the animals in. Wow! We drove for about half an hour from the viewpoint to reach the inside of the crater. We're at the rim now, getting the permits and the road towards this place was so bumpy, I wouldn't call it a road, I would call it a free massage. But it's time to spot the animals now guys. The peculiar word Nagoro Nagoro is named after the sound of a cowbell. When it was used by the farmers here, the local Maasai tribe started to call this area Ngoro Ngoro. About 25,000 animals live on the bottom of the crater. And the first one that we spot is one of the big five, the elephant. Soon we would also see hundreds of zebras, wildebeests and this eland antelope. What's very awesome about the month January is that you see a lot of babies. Because this is the month that all the animals have little ones. So we saw them, yeah, for each animal actually. It seems that I'm not the only one on a day out with my little guy. Thank you. 
see here the second of the big five, the buffalo. We also spot many warthogs, and if you look closely in the distance, there is a lion walking by. We step on the gas and head on over there. In the middle of the crater there's a very big lake and in that lake we see a bunch of hippos swimming by. Look at it. While we are still busy with the hippos, our next target is walking by along the edge of the lake. Because we didn't see a hyena yet. This is also a paradise for bird watchers. See here the Abdim stork and the Cory bustard. So far we saw three of the big five in Ngoro Ngoro. We saw the elephant, we saw the buffalo and we saw the lion. But now we're gonna see the fourth one because over there in the distance is a rhino, a black rhino and I think we're gonna see it pretty well. With only 30 specimens, this is one of the rarest animals in the crater. Wow, Jens, they're so close. We see three ostriches, uh, one male and two females, right over there. Because the animals are so easy to spot, this has to be one of the best places in Africa to take your kids on a safari. I got another big tip for you guys. If you see a toilet, use it. Because there's not so many of them in the Ngoro Ngoro crater. So uh, yes, I'm gonna empty my bladder. But inside you'll see there's about 50 of them. It's time to have lunch and we do this at a super nice spot. Because you have a lake over here just beneath the mountains and in the lake are some hippos again. We see a lot of birds as well, so yeah, I call this lunch with a view.
Enjoy, guys. Enjoy, guys. Looks good. Hey, guys. There's a lion sleeping right over there in the tube. You see it? Wow. Look, we see a crowned crane. Well guys, we're back at the rim again of the crater and this day was such a special day. Nogoro Nogoro, I can really recommend it because there's so many animals down there, even more than we saw yesterday in Tarangira National Park. Uh, and we saw rhinos, so now it's four of the big five. Let's go to the hotel. And tomorrow there's another day of safari, in case you didn't know. Totally fulfilled, we drive back to our lovely hotel for a feast on the top floor. Don't forget to subscribe on Wout of the World and travel with us through Africa for many more videos to come.